Hi and welcome to this Auto Marshall advert for a vehicle that genuinely we actually want to keep. <laughs> um, but unfortunately it's our job to sell these things on. This is of course a Mercedes CL500 V8 and it is probably one of the ones that's in probably the best condition here in the UAE. These vehicles um, not only are appreciating modern classics that you can actually use, this particular vehicle is being sold for the same price as what the last uh, current owner just spent on the car, which is 15,000 dirhams. It's somewhat um, of an absurd um, equation that someone would spend that much money on such a beautiful vehicle and then have to sell it on but unfortunately the owners had to leave the country so this has obviously come to us as the premier private car sales service here in the UAE and of course we're always dealing with expats so when they leave the vehicle they assign it to us and we then retail it on for them and someone here is going to get an absolute bargain. This particular vehicle as you can see presented in white hasn't been modified apart from very tasteful Lawrence exhaust and um, Lawrence footrest as it's known as the dead pedal in fantastic condition honestly it's a 2002 as you can see the bodywork is absolutely clean a genuine straight cl 500 um, no accident damage whatsoever you can check from the chassis number we're happy to supply that for any interested parties and you'll be able to verify that for yourself it really is just a uh, car with all the bells and whistles, you drive it and you just have this smile on your face because you know that you've got something that um, really and truly is only, only going to go up in value. From every angle, Mercedes just got it so, so, so right. Their current CLs, um, well, the shape that's just, just gone out of um, production now, um, are attracting the same prices as the later year w215 as this body shape is prices um purely because this thing is just such a nice looking car and it just does what it says on the tin and the five liter v8 that's in this is also in the outgoing shape it's one of mercedes best engines and there is of course a lot of bells and whistles being the premium mercedes coupe that this is so let's crack on with showing you some of its features now again as mentioned, everything just clean and genuine on this car. In fact, we'll start by the boot. So I'll just pop it off the key. The thing flies open, so in case you are carrying things, it's going to make it nice and easy for you. Of course, the warning triangle there, even the boot area is like immaculately tidy. Little thoughts of Mercedes, like this little catch here that just keeps this up in case you do need to get to the tools. Tools all present and correct in immaculate condition as well. It really is, this is this is the CL that you're supposed to buy, the one that has the working air suspension, um, the one that's had um, money lavishly spent on it, 15,000 at the last service. Oh, and another thing, some used to not dealing with such prestige vehicles, self-closing boot, pull it, and it will just lock by itself. So self-closing boot there as well. Third level brake light, as mentioned, the Lawrence exhaust tips. Such a nice car. I mean, Mercedes Benz embellishments everywhere, the wood kit throughout. Not only do you have heated, but you also have cool seats on this vehicle. M three way memory on both driver and passenger. It's uh, in all immaculate order. As you can see, all the electrics work absolutely as this is should you got to remember this was the flagship mercedes and really and truly still is this has got the extended lumbar support electric with the pulsating massage as well so something that you don't tend to see very often as well the um pulsating massage there obviously the vehicle needs to be on but srs airbags throughout as well this is of course a super safe car lovely touch on these cars you have this chrome plinth and when you pull it forward the seats were forward all by themselves so you can get and you can get two adults comfortably in the back of this vehicle armrest cup holder unmarked black leather interior those rear headrests do drop at the touch of a button as well and you do in fact 
have those buttons, not only for the electric windows, but also for the dropping of the headdress in the front. AC vents come through the seats as well. This car has lots of hidden touches and just such a nice car. Put the seat back, it whirs back into place as well. So again, hand stitched leather throughout being the flagship and this is of course SRS airbags as well. Another point to mention is this is of course a pillarless coupe. So what you'll notice is when I pull open the door, both glasses go down so that it aids you getting in and out. Close it and they both jump back up. Again, pulsating massage seat for driver and passenger. And as mentioned, you pull this lovely chrome plinth forward, the seat whirs into action all by itself. Passenger gets in the rear, simply pull it back and it will just slide back into place all by itself. And of course, I hit one, that's my memory setting. Jump in the vehicle, and you'll notice it's got just 131,000 kilometers. And another thing to notice, start the vehicle, all the warning lights come on as they're supposed to. Start the car, and it does tell you that it needs a service. In fact, it has had a service that does need to be reset. The vehicle has been serviced and does not require one. It says service B is a uh, service A, excuse me, is exceeded. It has not, it has been serviced and it does need that light resetting. So we'll get that done for its lucky new owner. Also, and there it will disappear as well, but we'll get that done. The vehicle has been serviced. Um, electric glass all the way around. Uh, it's, it's pointless to say that it all works. We will drop that for you. The car has been validated, so we don't want watermarks for its lucky new owner. Um, We'll show you that pillarless coupe feature right then with the photography. Of course, if you've got little kids in the back, we don't want them playing around or big adults doing the same, then of course, you can cut the power to the rear glass as well. You can open the boot off this little toggle switch here on the driver's side panel as well. And as mentioned, not only do you have cool seats of three different settings, you also have heated seats of three different settings. And believe me, lots of people are very surprised when they see heated um, seats here in the UAE and GCC spec vehicles. But believe me, when it gets cold, you appreciate the toasty posterior that this car gives you. And again, electric seats throughout, including the electric headdress as well, which you can see just raise absolutely effortlessly all the way up. Power min uh, windows power mirror sorry that being the drivers switch it across and that is the passengers of course and you do also have electric folding mirrors you have the xenon headlights which are factory headlight wash system cars headlights are always on auto so that going through a tunnel or evening time they pop on all by themselves to turn the ac down actually because it's very powerful and very loud um behind my left foot there is actually what they call the dead pedal and that's a lawrence upgrade as well as you can see absolutely no warning lights on the screen it really has been lavishly taken care of as mentioned the last service 15,000 was spent on it, 15,000, and the vehicle's being sold for the same amount. It's It really is absurd. Um, SRS airbags, super, super safe vehicle. You can toggle through lots of settings, of course, and cruise control as well. Such a simple system on Mercedes. They've never changed it, and they never should. Lots of vehicles, you have to press one button, press another, press it on Mercedes, flick it up, cruise is on, flick it down, lower your speed, push it away from you, it cancels, pull it towards you, it resumes, and you can also press for the limit as well. When that light comes on, you can limit the car's speed so that you know you never go over and get yourself in trouble. So again, you've got this extended wood kit as well. Um, and rear headdress can also be lowered and raised from the toggle switch there. So if I just show you in the rear mirror, and you can see they both pop back down and very rare that you have the electric feature where you can actually raise them as well off that switch a very very um rare option on these vehicles for those of you who know also um 
ABC Sports mode for the suspension, raising, lowering, all works absolutely perfectly. Central locking off the um, console as well, parking sensors front and rear. You've also got the rear blind. As you can see, it pops up absolutely super fast as well and pops down at the same sort of space, pace, excuse me. Uh, nice little cubby hole just to put uh, little possessions in case you want to tuck them as well, uh, tuck them away as well. And you also have, of course, the climate control, which is dual zone for both driver and passenger too. Uh, you certainly can't feel the AC, but in auto emotional tradition, you certainly can hear it. That's on max, and it is cold. It is a cold, so we'll keep that just down to two, which suffices. And of course, front windscreen, rear windscreen, recirculating air, so on and so forth. You know all those standard bells and whistles and um, winter and s winter and summer by the way for those of you who don't know you've always wondered why it's W and S it's got nothing to do with sports um, although when you're in winter the vehicle takes um start in second gear so you pull it off in second gear and the tires don't slip and in summer mode you take first gear when you move off so then of course you have a bit more traction a bit more power super smooth gearbox of course and um, front and rear parking sensors which as you can see are embedded nicely on this mercedes console and a beautiful thing about mercedes as well is if you can see in the top of the ceiling lining there when i put it in reverse you'll have a little light pop up which will give you an indication so when you're looking in the rear view mirror you don't have to keep turning your head round you can still see how close you are to approaching objects on the rear as well glass sunroof fully working as well beautiful skies that we have here in the uae we are super blessed all the time with a nice sun electrochromatic mirror so it auto dims of course during the evening time and you'll notice the mirror is just moving by itself there because when you put it in reverse it does lower down to show you the curb um and to say that's it is a bit of a understatement it's cheating the vehicle it's an absolutely fantastic fantastic car um and really and truly, whoever's buying this vehicle is basically getting the car for free, considering the previous owner just spent 50000 on it. It's somewhat ridiculous, but there you go. Someone's going to get super lucky with this W215 body shape Mercedes CL500 V8. Absolutely gorgeous car. Uh, we thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation video. And um, whomsoever comes to see this car first, bring your money, walk away with probably the cleanest and um, one of the most, um, I don't know, even know what if bargain full is a word, but it should be for this car. They spent 15,000, it's now being sold for 15,000. The car is practically for free. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this presentation by Auto Emotional.